Hello, welcome back. Um, so after wandering around aimlessly for several minutes trying to figure out what the hell I was supposed to do, uh, I landed on coming back to talk to this guy. Or rather, a guide told me to come back to talk to this guy. So apparently, I'm sorry about the camera. Um, talking to him twice, which I don't know why I didn't talk to him a second time. A lot of things in this game happen to be that way. Uh, it starts at, like a new mini game. Hmm. You look like you've got a bit of an agenda there, Wolf. You've been thinking about what I told you. So he told me that the that the there is a plug for the lake that that the city's on, uh, and he thinks it's buried somewhere near here. So essentially, he wants me to do a digging game um, to try and find this plug to unplug it so that we can get a, our water back. Then I'll ask you one more time: Are you going to help me or not? What do you say? Yes, I will help you, Maguri. It's a shame wolves can only answer with their eyes. Still, it doesn't matter what you are if you're willing to help. Now listen carefully while I explain what you have to do. Like I told you, Lake Beaver's plug is right below us here. I'll concentrate all my efforts on finding it. All you need to do is use those claws and get digging. I'll use the hole you dig to get to the plug. And when I reach it, I'll give it a good whack and open it up. If no water comes out, you might need to give me a hand. So, do you understand what you need to do? I uh, guess, yes. That looks like a yes to me. Time for wolf and human to pool their energy together. Let's get going. Oh, it's this. Again. Oh, I'm gonna die. Start over. <laughs> I forgot there's bombs. Oh, well, sugar. Start over. Oh, great. Now he's stuck. Yeah, he's stuck. Well, shit. How do I prevent him from doing the dumb? Did he get stuck in the water again? No, he didn't. Yeah, but how am I supposed to get him out of there? I can't break these black things. Well, shit. I'm an idiot. And actually, we're going to do it again. Great video. Great video. Real happy with it. Wait, are you, are you fucking, are you serious? I can't. Are you fucking kidding me? Let me get him over here. No. This way. That's how I get him over here. Okay. On you, old fuck. Alright, well, we'll let him find it. Apparently, I think I did it. I think I did the right thing. I did. Once you get your companion to the bottom, they'll tell you where to start digging. Okay. Did it! Yay! It only took me like 30 tries. Look, Wolf. Look at this wonderful water from Lake Biwa. Seon has had its fair share of hardships lately. The water dragging on the rampage and that strange mist all over. But it matters not what trials present present themselves to us. If we solve them one by one, we will emerge unscathed. 
I suppose my work here is done for now. Thanks, Wolf. You did a good job. Yay, I did it. Came out of it. We're all suffering so much at the moment. Yet Queen Himiko just stays holed up in the palace. Please, Queen Himiko, do something. Help us. That's not what I wanted to have happen. Nice, and one more. Okay. Cool, now that the water's here, I could probably go through across this bridge. Maybe. Talk to the, talk to the Quinn. Now what? Hmm. <clears throat> Last, the time is near. Benkai, the fisherman monk, shall lay claim to his one thousandth sword. Wandering warrior monk Benkai. I have traveled far and wide, challenging master swordsmen. I don't know what the voices I gave him originally, but this is fine. And 999 swords have I claimed by my own hand. But now that I have defeated all who would dare challenge me, the last sword has eluded me. But one more to make 1,000. And thus, aimlessly, I have wandered. That is, until a legend drew me to the Seon City. It is said that a living sword lies in the depths of Lake Biwa. Have you heard a legend about Lake Biwa? Even I could barely believe it when I first heard. But they say a living sword swims freely about in these waters. If true, it would make a fitting addition as my 1,000th sword. This bridge is a very special contraption. With one command, I can make it passable and another, and another impassable. As you can see, it makes for a fine place to fish. It grieves me to cut off access to the city. But I'm afraid this bridge shall stay this way until I, while I fish for the living sword. Of course, that may be easier said than done. Okay. I really need to get through, though, dude. Come on. This is no mere fishing trip for me. This is a true battle with the living sword. I must therefore arm myself with the right weapon. That fishing rod over at the tool dealer in town would be perfect. Oh, you should see it. It is the purest of white, like new fallen snow. There is no chance of victory without that rod, alas. It would appear that I cannot afford it. Oh, what am I to do? <laughs> that, that's, that's blinding snow. The rod from the tool dealer. With that fine rod, I would at last have a chance against the living sword. Now be a good doggy and give it here. Sure. Oh, happy day. I have never finish, fished before, but it should not be much different from a good sword fight. Interesting. Now to catch the 1,000th sword. I shall engage in mortal combat with that elusive living sword. Hmm? I have been holding my rod over this water for some time now. However, the living sword has yet to bite. But you know what they say, patience is a virtue. I shall sit here as long as it takes. Ami. What had here? Never gone, gonna let us cross this rate. Uh, time for some of that angling magic of yours. Show them how you do it. Fish that living sword out of this lake. Sure, I'll help catch this fish. Ugh, but it had sure is a handful. I wonder if there really is such a li thing as a living sword. Alright. Let's fish for a sword. Okay, Ami. 
You got the basic idea, right? Draw a line from the tip of the pole to the fish. I don't know exactly what we're fishing for, but don't let it get away. I think I hooked something. Go for it, Hoodhead. Pull, pull. Don't let it get away. It's a very tiny fish. You caught Gobi. It's going to be nothing but a bunch of Gobi fish. Another one. Gillyfish. Oh, there we go. He won't get away from me. Sure he won't. Wasn't enough. Wasn't enough. The resilient fish. Get wrecked, fish. All right. You caught Cutlass Fish, the living sword. I got it. Yay. The gods be praised. At last. At last I have fulfilled my dream. So that is a living sword. That is what I have been pursuing all this time. I don't think it's so hard. I mean, that was one big cutlass fish. A cutlass is a kind of sword, isn't it? Plus, what are the odds of catching an ocean fish in a lake? Spare me such solace. But enough about that. Monk never goes back on his word. I shall make this jigsaw bridge passable once more. Thanks, homeboy. Alright. Oh, that looks horrible. Whoa, stop, Ami. I thought this mist was coming from the lake of, or mountains. So what's that stuff rising from the Imperial Palace? Let's keep going, Fuebo. Oh, hey. I know that man. Well, well, look what the cat dragged in. What took you so long, my sherry? Ah, uh, not you again. Well, you can't fool us. We're not going to forget what you did to us back at Aroche's cave. Why do you keep popping up wherever we are? What are you up to this time? What if he's the ba big bad guy? What if he is the big bad guy? Excusez-moi. But I have no time to follow you around. You see, I'm busy looking for something. Bah. Some prophet you are. Didn't you already know where to look? Well, maybe look isn't the right word. I already know where it is. It's just... 
getting there is proving to be a bit of a problem. Suffice it to say, I want it quick and easy. Quick and easy? Wait a second. Don't tell me you're behind this funky mist. Is this part of a plan to conquer the city and take over the world? You're always up to no good, so I wouldn't be surprised. The world? Not the bad, my little bouncing friend. You're only half wrong. I seek the other world, a desire, a path to the heavens. Path to the heavens? Oh, stop beating around a bush. Let us know what's on your mind. <laughs> this path concerns you too, ma chérie. Huh? What? This city is in quite a bad state, is it not? Especially this ghastly mist that torments its people. I think we're stupid. We see right through you, pretty boy. We got you all figured out. It's funky mist and your so-called path to the heavens. You're in cahoots with Queen Himiko. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So just take it step by step. You must first deal with this mist. It is slowly but surely killing the people of this city. Wait too long and it's au revoir. The damage will already be done. Hey, you... Talking about it like it's someone else's problem. You're behind it all. Admit it already. Even if I was, what good would come out of arguing about this here? Methinks we should be doing something about the mist now. How about a tip this time instead of a prophecy? Go through the hole in the wall, neat ones. <clears throat> Let me put this away. Even a meat most solid defense has a tiny gap like the eye of a needle. Or something like that. Understand, Mushri? This poisonous mist is quite dangerous. Wait too long and it's au revoir. The damage will already be done. How about a tip this time instead of a prophet go to the hole in the wall, little ones? Even the strongest defense has a has a weakness similar to like the hole of an eye of a needle or something like that. I understand. Yeah, I understand. I'm sick of talking to this guy. All right. I am too. I wonder how much longer it'll be before it's my turn. This horrible choking mess is driving me crazy. I'm lucky if I can get any work done at all lately. I have to come and see Rao at least once a day to stay here or stay sane. And I'm just going to go and talk to these people. No point in talking to these people. Hmm. If the game's quiet, the game's probably quiet. Turn. Oh, well, hello. Oh, who'd have thought there'd be a wolf in here of all places? The world is in turmoil. Have you come to listen to one of my sermons? Then allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rao. I'm the regent of Seon City, appointed by Queen Himiko herself. It's a bit excessive, but okay. Priestess Rao. So what's troubling you then? Holy cow, this cyst is stacked. Excuse me. Oh, you've got a cute little fairy with you. The name's Isun, and by the way, it only looks like I'm staring at your melons. Melons? Ah, never mind. Anyway, so you're running the th things around here. Well, there's a funky mist cover in the city. And there's talk of a water dragon or something offshore. So what's up with the queen ho holding herself up in her palace? The people of her city are dropping like flies, you know. How can she be so lazy at a time like this? So you've sensed the evil forces over Ryoshima too, then. I heard that dreaded Orochi was resurrected in Shinshu Field. Though a brave swordsman vanquished him again. The ripples of those waves of chaos are reaching Ryoshima too. The water dragon terrorizes the sea, and an ill mist covers Seian. And in these last few days, the situation has intensified. I don't know what's happening to our peaceful Nippon. She said something about waves of chaos growing stronger recently. Hmm. A creepy shadow did scurry off when we defeated Orochi. Wonder if whatever it was took root here in Ryoshima City. What are you muttering about, Isun? Well, 
This will no doubt come as quite a shock, but the great slayer of the dreaded Orochi is right before your eyes. Behold, the great Amaterasu. What? This wolf? But I heard it was a swordsman called Susano. Huh? Oh, uh, well, he may have dealt the final blow. But Ami here did most of the work, I tell you. And if you don't believe me, Ami's gonna show you some divine powers right here, right now. Whoosh. What was that? You like it? That was one of Amaterasu's powerful divine powers. A mere taste of what the celestial brush can do. Celestial brush? What a mysterious and fearsome power you wield, Amaterasu. You got that right, sister. There ain't nothing Ami can't do. Maybe this wolf... Maybe this wolf could help me with my quest. Your quest? What more could you want? You're already stacked to the ceiling. N never mind. Forget I said anything. Not that I've lost my prayer slips. The situation is completely hopeless. Come on, tell us what you want. It doesn't matter, just forget about it. I have many favors I want to ask, now that I've seen your powers. But without my prayer slips, there's nothing else anyone can do. Alright, we need to get our prayer slips, that's fine. Take one of these. You obtain Land of the Gods. A scroll drawn by wandering artists contains useful information. What information might that be? You obtained Exorcism Slip M. Paper depicting holding incantation moderately damages nearby enemies. 